patterns, patterns, patterns. And I bet that you know why today's video is called this way. So I invite you to watch it until the end to see my reasons why. Stay tuned. Hi, what's up you guys and welcome back to Morning Daily Forex Market Analysis. It's Wednesday the 6th of Mar March and we will just dive straight into the content. Okay, so yesterday we were in few trades, so just let's recap on that. We were in a Euro dollar bad pattern here. Uh, let me just bring this up. We were in this trade right here. Give me a second. Doop. 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 And it closed us out and it's currently making some kind of a double bottom at this structural level, which I believe can go a little bit further down below and we will see what's going to happen. Uh, we obviously got stopped out for both of our positions here and as far as I'm concerned, I don't see anything else here. Maybe this is something. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I got some kind of a, I caught some kind of a cold. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there is nothing here that wait. There may be. There might be a cipher. There might be a cipher. Like this, an ugly, big ass cipher. <clears throat> there is a cipher pattern right here. So. This is something that I'll, I'll take a look at today. This is something very, very interesting, actually. The risk to reward is how much? The risk is 60 pips. The reward is almost one to one. Oh, yeah. This is this is very nice trade. Uh, if this is and this is comes into a structure, it might be a very good trade. We will see. I will write this down and I will be looking at it today. Uh, also, Pound Yen, we were yesterday in a trade that looks like this. You can see this Garfi pattern right here. It won for our targets one, and then it hit our stop loss for targets two. However, as I'm currently backtesting the Pound Yen cipher patterns, I wasn't able to get engaged into this cipher pattern here, although it would win. So yesterday we would have like a one target winner here, six, 60 pips, and then the second target, no, actually this was like, what? 40 pips and the second target uh, and the second trade for 76 pips for first targets and then it will be maybe 122 pips for the second targets which is almost 250 pips if this second uh, second position is gonna win we are definitely gonna watch for this today besides this there is nothing here maybe maybe this second target can give me an opportunity Yes, a Garfield pattern here. So this is something that I can trade because I already tested it. So I will definitely be watching this pair today for a Garfield pattern because I can trade pound in Garfields. As for the ciphers, I cannot trade them yet. Okay. However, there might be another cipher a little bit higher here. Yes, there is. So there you go, guys. And I think that this cipher, this bigger cipher, completes at the point of a target two for yesterday's cipher. Very weird situation, very, very funny. Let's check this out. Yeah, around that price point. So there we have a lot of a, let me see. Ah, I gotta bring 78.6. <laughs> I take a look at this. Okay. So we have an X to A, A to B, B to C completion right there. Targets one hit from yesterday's cipher, uh, rallying down so that it gives me opportunity to get short on my Garkley, but also creates another cipher pattern, which completed completes at the price point of targets two, a little bit higher than targets two from yesterday's cipher, because targets two complete here, yeah, targets to complete here, and we have our entry point right there. So that is very, very funny, very, very cool situation to be in, and I'm glad that I caught it on a video. With that being said, let's just go straight. I will just keep the euro and pound in because we already did that. Let's go to USD CAD. 
USD CAD, there is nothing here, guys. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But just shows how my backtesting results that the the bad, the ba big bad. Pardon me. The big bad pattern that I waited uh, the other day because uh, it was too many uh, pe too many periods in between. Do you remember this? This is the one. So I took three trades by accidents here. By accident, I would be stopped out right now for how much? 58 pips but I avoided it because of my rules so besides this there's nothing else on this pair and I'm not interested because this is I'm ex actually expecting this is a raising cha rising channel and I'm expecting price action okay it's retesting this uh, the RSI is gone overbought there is some kind of a divergence here and I'm expecting the this to drop a little bit uh, until here actually I'm expecting the price action to go to drop until this point we will see what's gonna happen, okay? Aussie CAD. We also had some kind of a rising channel. The price action come to this point to retest the highs. We had some kind of a divergence and then it's dropping. I think it will come to this point. Yeah, around this point. So yeah. Uh, besides this, nothing that would be of my interest at this point. If I were to trade ciphers, there might have been. Here might have been a cipher. It was. It was cipher. It completed here. Let's let's see this. It was an ugly one candle decompletion cipher, but you would hit your targets what? Because this candle was the C point. It was also the D point right here. When you trail your target, you would get from this to this point and you would make 20 pips. Ugly cipher. I would not be involved with it because it's one candle completion. With that being said, besides this ugly cipher from yesterday, I don't see anything else. Aussie USD, my prediction gone wrong, got gone wrong. So I had my X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D pattern here. And my latch won this point. So I don't see, yeah, it's a new low is being made and I don't see anything else. So far for me, I would be waiting for price action to come back up, maybe retest this high, uh, this low and a few future resistance and then continue uh, down. As for me, as I'm trading just the patterns, I don't see anything else. Your dollar, we've been through it. Pound dollar sideways moving where we might say have something here. Let's just check out this. Yeah, no. Pound dollar. I don't see. Maybe this would be an X point for something. Let's see what do we have here. X point. X point. X point. X point. Ah, for a cipher for a Garshby, but I don't see this. Nah. Yeah, nothing. Maybe if you take a look at this, this might be a your pattern here. Yeah, so yeah, this might be your pattern, but uh, we need you you know we need to candles to go up and down. Then until this happens, nothing. Yeah, so this is it. Pounding, we've already did it. So we have a lot of patterns here. Let me draw the uh, the big the big cipher as well. That from yesterday so that you can see it uh, I cannot use my tool here I can only use tools for uh, drawing two uh, two patterns on a chart and there is a reason for it uh, yeah so yeah, you get the point there is a reason for it when the when I will be ready I will announce what tool what what is the tool how you can get your hands on it and everything else currently we are building a trade helper trade manager so that I can leave these kind of a drawings on a chart leave my charts and they will it will take the trades as per my backtesting uh, rules okay so that's the whole idea behind it and that's why I can only draw two two of them I can increase this later but there is no need only uh two of them here or yeah maybe third one can complete but it's you know it's it's hard it's not that I'm not gonna keep checking my charts uh every uh now and then so yeah with that being said, guys, thank you very much for staying until the end of this a bit longer morning session and see you in a few seconds in the afternoon session. Bye bye. Hi, guys, and welcome back to the afternoon session. And although the day started like we had a lot of opportunities, a lot of things to see, uh, particularly on Pound Yen, and there was a lot of patterns, uh, ended up being like, you know, no trades whatsoever uh, on 
a USD CAD, my prediction in the morning was actually as this is a rising, a rising channel, the divergence that the price action will go down, but it continued rallying up. So I was wrong, but that's it. I know I didn't trade it because I didn't backtest it. Uh, so nothing here in this pair I don't I currently see for me. So I'll just skip it for now. Aussie CAD, the situation is like this. So we have my X to A, A to B, B to C. C leg is currently happening, as you can see right now. So I don't know how it's going to end up. But currently it's looking like this. So this is on my radar for up. Oh, this is on my radar for tomorrow. Uh, because today I don't, I clearly doubt that it will, you know, rally down for 120 pips uh, and almost I'm almost out of my time for trading today Aussie USD uh, it rallied down it didn't go up I don't see anything else currently in this pair for uh, for me so I'll just skip it for now as well waiting for some kind of a pattern to form euro dollar still waiting for the cipher however the C to D leg currently has what how many 100 periods, 100 candles, so I won't be engaging into this pattern because I have a limit of maximum 100 candles for each and every leg. Uh, besides that, let's go to pound dollar. Did, did this this happen on pound dollar? It formed potential Gartley, but again, I'm not allowed to trade Gartleys. I haven't found them profitable, so I'll just skip them here. I just wanted to show you. And on pound yen, a pair with a lot of patterns right now. I actually placed my alarms here and my pending orders. But if trade does not happen in the next hour and a half, I'll close my pending orders here. I'm about to take, if it happens, I will be short Gartley. Okay. So yeah, basically that's it. Uh, morning session was a little bit longer, but the afternoon session is much shorter. With that being said, I want to thank you for watching this video and keep following me. If you like it, click the like button. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I do this on a daily basis and I give you updates on my equity curves and on my trades. Uh, yeah, share the content and that's it. Thank you very much and talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.